with that. Uh, sorry, I can't think right now. We have a leak in our front, so unfortunately we're not able to take any orders at the moment. Okay, can you still go inside then? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Well, as you can tell, we got our Burger King was hoping that she drive through to drive through, but uh, drive through is actually closed because it kind of flooded inside a little bit in their little uh, drive through work area. So, still got a Burger King, still drove through to drive through. Fortunately, the GoPro is not working, so not any GoPro footage right now. So, I have to get home, charge that up while I'm watching wrestling, and when we head out for camping tonight, we'll have some GoPro footage for you guys. So, stay tuned, my friends. Cheers. Okay, all season back at you. We got back. Just finished watching the Elimination uh, elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Uh, definitely wasn't as good as I would have hoped for, but oh well. I know not all you guys who watch this are wrestling fans. So anyhow, to the adventure. Unfortunately, I don't have my GoPro. Tried charging that, but that's not working. As you guys saw, it wasn't working for the Burger King trip. So just going to place one camera on the handlebars, and hopefully I can get some good footage for you guys. Try my best. And then when we get to our spot, I'll set up a few cameras and try to get a few cool scenes. But uh, anyhow, let's get fired and get on the KLR fart. Let's get the KLR fired up and let's get rolling to our camp spot. Cheers. As you can see, I made it to our camp spot. Got a bit of snow on the ground, so not too bad. I figure we got the KLR park there. I'm gonna set the tent right here. Yeah, sure, I'm sure you see me drop the bike over there, but that, that's expected to happen in the snow. But uh, one thing I let you guys know, feel free to comment down below, but I really have been thinking about, uh, I wanna do some, uh, I mentioned I wanna do some uh, lake camping, camp on a frozen lake with Beaster truck or the F-150, something. But I keep thinking about studding the tires on the KLR to take on the lake. That'd be kind of fun, but the uh, thing is, I kind of have to ruin these tires, maybe, kind of, sort of. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But anyhow, uh, made it to our spot safe and sound. Now it's time to set up camp. So, let me show you guys that.
Well, there you have it. That's uh, tonight's uh, camp setup uh, for all season. Not too bad if I say so myself. I don't think it's every day you see a KLR in this type of environment, so I'll take that as a win. Uh, gotta say, tonight's bike ride, the way I was dressed, it wasn't too bad. Like, I got... I got three layers on my my legs. I got like probably seven, eight layers up top. So I was dressed pretty warm, and my mitts I had were pretty good. And I got the boots, and I, I got lots of layers. Maybe I'll do a video on that someday. But it motivates me to. I think I want to do a little bit more KLR snow camping. I'm even thinking about ways I can put some chains on the tires or something like that. I've looked a little bit into it, but yeah, I could arrive to dirt road pretty well. But yeah, I can't go through the snowmobile trails, that's for sure. I ain't got one of those snow tracks kits. Hmm. Maybe one of those for the KLR someday. Let me know what you think. But anyhow, we're going to keep trying to push this a little bit more and more and more. So anyhow, uh, let me show you guys what it looks like inside the tent right now. You can see, it's got my sleeping bag right there. Backpack and everything. So, uh, yeah, it'll be... Uh, It'll be kind of nice to get a tent, a little bit more room than the Ranger. But anyhow, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, the temperature is uh, minus 6 degrees Celsius tonight. So, not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but uh, I can calculate here. Well, yeah, so anyhow, uh, yeah, my, oh, yeah, they are giving snow for tomorrow too. That could be interesting. Find out if we're riding in the snow or not. I have driven in the past, some of you guys might know this. But uh, anyhow, we will see what tomorrow brings. So, until then, have yourselves a good one, and cheers. Good morning, everybody. Well, just checked my phone. It's currently minus six degrees outside. Uh, said it's snowing, but I got no idea till we actually look outside and see what looks like over the KLR. I can hear what sounds to be like some plow trucks with some backup beepers going on. But uh, anyhow, time for me to get dressed up, crawl out of bed, and go outside and see if we need to shovel out the KLR. So uh, once I get dressed up and out, I'll show you guys. Cheers. Well, time to see what we got. <laughs> ah, it's not crazy snow. Anyhow, I'll get back to you guys. Well, since we are so close to home, might as well just pack up, head back home. But let me show you guys one quick uh, go around of where we camped at last night. mentioned last night unfortunately my GoPro is well I don't have it on me because it's not working at the moment so see what we can put my see what we can uh, get in footage with my other camera and try to deliver it to you guys so time to head back home Cheers.
Alright everybody, here we are. Actually following Saturday Saturday, so pretty much a week later. Just realized that I almost forgot to do a conclusion for this video as I was editing it. So uh time to do my conclusion. So gotta say I, I don't feel it's my greatest video I've ever made, but we did go camping with a KLR in the winter time, so that's pretty cool. That's gotta be a thumbs up. But uh like that instead being doing my conclusion a week later, I can tell you guys what I got planned for Next week, as you guys will be watching, or if you guys watch, I was hoping to take the KLR winter camping again, but uh, just to show, I've already shoveled the driveway once this morning, and uh, snow doesn't bother me that, that much on the KLR, but I gotta say, because we've had some warm weather the last few days, well, somewhat, it is wet underneath, and there's lots of ice, so, uh, like I say, uh, I do lots of crazy things, but there's a difference between doing something crazy and stupid. And driving on top of ice when you have no set of tires or nothing, that's just stupid. So that's where I draw the line. So but anyhow, for next week's episode, tonight, as I'm heading out to camp tonight, I still plan on camping. So a little uh, teaser. I plan on taking Beaster Truck again. I'm going to take the Teddy Bear Gizmo with me. And uh, hoping to go uh, lake camping again. So I'm going to find a lake, camp on top of the lake. And not 100% sure, but I may bring the pit bike. We'll see. To be determined. If there's, if I can still load it and find my dirt bike carrier. But we'll see. So anyhow, uh, stay tuned until next week. Until next time, remember to live everybody. And cheers.